The Smart TFV8 Baby. The Baby Beast. It's a mini version of the TFV8 Cloud Beast, about a third the size of its big brother. So yeah, buddy, here's a quick and shop close view of the Smart, the TFV8, the Baby Beast. Obviously, this is just the packaging. Slides right out. Lid pops off, and then inside we got our TFVA Baby Beast, an extra glass tank, and an extra core head. At the bottom of the box, you also receive a baggie of extra goodies, a buku of O-rings, and an extra gasket. You also receive a black and orange vape band that says smock and keep on vaping. They also include a user manual. So check it out, boys and girls. Here's a size comparison between this regular TFV8 and this TFV8 Baby, and it is like night and day. I mean, <laughs> that's why they call this thing the Baby. And this one's the Beast. Well, they're both the Beast, but this is the Baby Beast. This is the Beast Beast. This is the Cloud beast. This is a just a much smaller, much more compact version of this. So yes, size comparison for you. And as you guys can see, this Smock TFVA Baby Beast comes in two different color options, stainless steel or black. She's primarily made of stainless steel, comes with this pre-installed glass tank, holds 3 mils of e-liquid, she's 22 millimeter in width, and she's 53 millimeter in height. She's got dual adjustable airflow down here at the base. You can turn her one direction, she stops, turn her the other direction, she stops, and whatever you adjust on this side, it's gonna be the same on the other side. And this has the perfect amount of restrictiveness, guys. And just like the TFV8 Cloud Beast, this Baby Beast also has that swivel top fill. And there's the fill hole got that gasket press fitted in there to keep everything sealed in there's your shaft section when you're done filling her up just close her push her in boom delrin drip tip standard 510 delrin drip tip oh yeah here's the catch cup just to show you go ahead and disassemble her coil head unscrews from the base Threads are nice and smooth, non-adjustable 510 pin that does protrude. I still wouldn't recommend using this for your hybrid top cap devices. Don't do it. And at the base it says designed by Smock. So here's the hyper engine that comes pre-installed into this baby beast. And this is the 0.4 ohm dual coil and recommended vape 40 to 80 watts. But the best that this thing vapes is between 55 and 65 watts. But yeah, she's shaped like a cone. Uses organic cotton as the wicking material. Look how wide this sucker is. Oh man. Plenty of airflow, guys. Plenty of airflow. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This coil head is called the Q2 Core. So here's the extra coil head that comes with this kit, and this is called the T8 Core. And oh, this is the 0.15 ohm. Recommended vape on the coil head says 40 to 160 watts. And the best, what this thing vapes at its best, it says 80 to 100 watts. Now, it's weird because on its site, on the Smock site, they recommend this thing vape between 50 and 110 watts, and at its best, 60 to 80 watts. So this says a little bit different. Just to point that out, Smock. But yeah, this is the baby octuple coil. Use organic cotton. Here's your feed slots. So check it out on the left is the T8 core, on the right is the V8 T8, and these are both octuple core heads. This one's for the regular TF V8 Cloud Beast. This one's for the baby, and I mean, look at the size comparison. It is, like, it's, it's night and day, man. Night and day, it's so much bigger, so much freaking bigger. This thing swallows this sucker up whole. Gonna go ahead and pop this T8 core in the base, the 0.15 ohm coil, and it's going in the stainless steel one. So I've got the T8 core in the stainless steel, and I got the X2 in the black one. And the first thing you wanna do when you pop her in the base is juice her up, gotta prime her up. Make sure she's nice and tight. Fill that bad boy up. Remember, a crucial point, you want to push down and seal this sucker off. You don't want to leave it like that. Push down, seal it off. Drip tip. So remember, in the black one, I got the X2 core, the 0.4 ohm coil head in here. In the stainless steel one, I got the T8 core, the 0.15 ohm coil head. Let's go vape on them, shall we? First thing I'm gonna do is vape on this stainless steel one, which has the 0.15 ohm T8 core in it, and she's reading at 0.17 ohms on this Panzer DNA 200 watt on vapor at 70 watts, and I got the airflow pretty much wide open all across the board. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Flavor is a rockin'. Vapor is a rockin'. Now, it's nothing like the TFV8 Cloud Beast, so if you're coming into it thinking you're gonna buy a much smaller tank and chuck the clouders at the TFV8 Cloud Beast, uh, chucks, uh uh, not even close. Not even freaking close, but it chucks the clouds. For a little 22 millimeter tank, it chucks the clouds. I've been using this core head, been using her for about a week. One week and she's still going strong and she is awesome. The flavor is great. Is it as good as the TFV8 Cloud Beast? Yes, it is. It just doesn't chuck as much vapor. 
And I find at 70 watts with this 0.15 ohm T8 core coil head, it, it's perfect for me. But you can take her up. Let's see, mm, let's go to 100. 100 watts. You have to really suck on it, baby. That's what she said. Too hot, too hot for me. But you can do it, I didn't get any dry hits. Let's go back down to 70. Oh yeah, that's comfortable. That is, that's my speed. Now onto the black baby. Okay, I've got the Q2 core coil head in here. She's reading at 0.4. Actually, on this mod, this Lava Box 75, she's reading at 0.34. I'm vaporing at 38 watts. That's it. And I got the airflow about halfway open all across the board. We're gonna start at 38 and we're gonna build up. Vapor's good. Take up the water. Let's go up to 45 watts. I'm gonna open up the airflow just a touch. Yeah, yeah, vapor's good, the flavor's good. Take her up again, let's take her up to 50. Okay, here's the deal with this coil. The flavor's good, nothing like the one I just vaped on, the TA core. I mean, it's not even close, in my opinion, as far as flavor. I'll say flavor for this coil, it's about average. Now onto the pros, price point, I've seen this sell 30 to 35 bucks, and for this, for what you get, airflow on this, smooth, 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 top feels easy to use, never had any leaking, coil heads perform great. The TF, or the T8 core, is fantastic. The Q2 is still good, it's not great, but it's good, and it lasts me, oh yeah, the Q2 lasts me a week. I like how you can use your standard 510 drip tips if you want, and these drip tips are great. They're comfortable. Keep my lips cool. Holds a good amount of juice for its size, too. Three mils. Again, all this is gonna be subjective. Also, this sucker's fit on all my mods, been compatible, screw down flush, made a connection. Oh yes. So really the only con that I found for this tank is they did not include an RBA section, whereas they did for the TFEA Cloud B. So smock, include an RBA section with this kit. But Rip, what about the big question? If you lost this thing today, would you go out tomorrow and buy it? And the answer is absolutely freaking at 30 to 35 bucks. I mean, it seems like all these probably these sub ohm tanks that I'm reviewing nowadays, the ones that are good, I would buy. This is right up there with the best of them. I mean, as far as flavor. Now, and I'm talking about sub ohm tanks that use the organic, the cotton coil heads. It's just really good. Really, really good. Really, really consistent from the from the coil heads that I've tried. Hell yeah. Also, another thing I didn't mention, or I did mention, but I forgot to mention the pros. This thing comes with an extra glass tank. That's just another big pro to add to the, uh, the smock TFV8 baby resume. So yeah, I would buy it. 30 to 35 bucks. Yeah. And it's cute. Now on to the baby giveaway. That's right, I'm giving away 10, 10 of these bad boys. And in order to participate, you know the drill. You gotta go over to riptrippers.com. Once you get to riptrippers.com, you're gonna see giveaways. Click on the giveaways. Then you're gonna see TFVA 10 tank giveaway. I'm gonna hold a picture of it. Let's see, whoop, it's gonna be this one right here. Click on the title, follow the rules. You can only participate at riptrippers.com in that post. Do not participate here in the comment section on this channel. Don't do it. If you do it, you're gonna be disqualified. Good luck. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.